A woman who climbed up the base of the Statue of Liberty to protest President Trump's immigration policies is expected to be arraigned in federal court today. Kenneth Craig reports from outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Members of the group Rise and Resist gathered outside the federal courthouse in New York City Thursday to back 44-year-old Therese Patricia Okamau, the woman who climbed the base of the Statue of Liberty on the 4th of July. We are here to support her and to make sure she gets out uh, safely and on her own recognizance. Okamau told police she scaled the statue to protest the separation of immigrant families who crossed the U.S. border illegally. It took nearly four hours for the NYPD to peacefully take her into custody. When we got her and she couldn't go any further, I think she realized that, you know, her time was up up there. Okamau had arrived at the monument earlier in the day with the Rise and Resist protesters. They say she was one of the activists who hung a banner while other members wore t-shirts calling for the abolishment of immigration and customs enforcement. It was both uh, shocking and kind of amazing and we were also very frightened for her uh, personal safety. Okamau scaled more than 20 feet from the observation deck up the smooth stone pedestal. Officials at the Statue of Liberty say no one has ever attempted it before. It's a vertical climb and there's not many footholds or anything, so she had either some good skills or some dumb luck. Okamau is an immigrant from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. She faces charges including disorderly conduct and trespassing. The incident forced officials to evacuate thousands of tourists from Liberty Island on the 4th of July, but Lady Liberty is back open today. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York.